got some questions for you guys. Eric, I'll start with you on this one. Cowboy questions. Is this a trick question? No, no, no. You know the, you know the game. We play the game. I ask you questions. You kind of give good answers. And- well, of course, you have multiple choice answers for us to choose from and everything. Yeah, I just want to make sure that you... You know, you, you get these questions answered, though. I think it's important. For this them. is how you make sure we've been paying attention in class. Like, yeah. Like, hey, I've been talking a lot of football in a lot of different places. Yeah. Let's see if you've been paying attention. Let's see if you've been paying attention. And I do appreciate your answer. Chief. Yeah. Bigness. Yeah, bigness. <laughs> biggest improvement. Dallas's running game or their run defense? Their run defense, for sure. I mean, they were they were so bad last year. I mean, just with the moves they made with having real linebackers here. Uh, like the day you brought in Eric Kendricks in a scheme that he's very familiar with and Mike Zimmer. Heck, the day you brought in Mike Zimmer, you got better at run defense with the scheme that he's got. So, I mean, every step of the way, they've done some things, and then they just did it with the kibosh there at the end with Phillips and Joseph. Hopefully those guys, I think Phillips for sure is still capable. Hopefully Joseph still is as well. Uh, and and even your edge setters like Neeland is is a guy that is here to play first and second down, stop the run. So I I feel really good in the sense that I think you're a top half of the league run defense, mm. and I I can't say that about your your run offense right now. How about you there, Dawson? Yeah, you know I know the running game was bad last year, um, and I don't think they've improved that. I think they have. They have sown the seeds that will eventually lead to run game improvement by getting a younger offensive line going. Go. And for sure. That there shit is go. going to cook. But, I mean, Leah Fowl, Kendricks, and, and Overshone, along with Nealon, and better better a scheme, I think, for stopping the run. I, you know, I'm, I'm much more confident in the defensive part of this. You know, I like what you guys are saying because you're bringing up all the really the right defensive pieces. And I think the safety group at playing it too deep, you know, can play guys in the alley and can show up and – now you're not dealing with 205 pound linebackers or safeties that are playing linebackers. I think they got guys that can run to the ball and all that. What a breath of fresh air it's going to be for Marquise it, it, Bell. It will, and and maybe even so, what they've done inside, you know, with the defensive tackles. Yeah, I will say this though: I think their run offense will be better. And just for what Dawson said earlier about adding Guyton and then having BB, I'm really excited about BB. Martin and Smith and those guys work because if we see how Dallas runs the ball it's really not perimeter runs and now you've got these backs that other than you know I think Rico Dowdle and 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 Vaughn could get to the edge and get to the corner but it's more about that inside what's going on they're going to try and attack and then cut the ball inside cut the ball if you've got guys that have power like those three inside guys have I think they're going to be better running the ball. They, I think they will be better as well. But it's not going to be as good as the run defense, according to you guys. Yeah, I still think it's the biggest question about the the team coming into week one. Like, yeah. how much of a running game can you come up with? Are you going to be bottom third in the league? Can yeah. you can you be the fifteenth best rushing attack? Yeah. Uh, and I think hopefully with the with the youth of these guys as the season goes on, assuming their health and everything like that, this is something that you hope gets better along the way as Guyton and BB continue to to develop. Yeah. What was Rico Dowdle's 40 time? I mean, do they have anybody that can make a house? 4-5-4. Four, four. No. They don't have anybody no. that can run away from a defense and give you that 60 or 70 yard gain yeah. to boost your yards per attempt. This is going to be all really non-first down running by all of these guys. And See, for as much as I love the, the scheme defensively and the way you're trying to stop the run, right. it's not like your offensive attack from a rushing standpoint is one of those that is super cutting edge and nuanced and, right. and keeping... Just the scheme itself is keeping defenses on their heels. So you don't That's see, not you. You don't see creative running here. No, no. The the most creative they get is like, hey, let's just put CD Lamb over there, Turpin over there. Yeah, and hand them the ball, yeah. let them go. Okay, this leads me to a question I had then, and because I I, I think that Dowdle is the best back they have on the roster. The question is the health. It's always going to be. That's what we're going to say about him until he finds a way to make it through his whole season. Uh, on Eric, I'll go with you on this one as well. How long before they figure out that Dowdle is the best back? Well, I think they they probably already know. I think they already know. But why do I get the gut that they're going that it's going to be Ezekiel Elliott right off the jump? 
Well, I do I do think that e- Ezekiel Elliott is going to be starting the games, but I think by the end of the game, it will prove out to be with the volume going to Dowdle, so long as he's healthy. Right. I, like, I've imagined Zeke's your starting running back, Dowdle's the guy that's getting the most volume. I think if Dowdle is healthy, Brian, I think you could see maybe week 9 or week 10, because as long as they're winning... I don't think the frustration is going to be enough. Like, are we really running this geezer? You know? But once you get to, like, Lions, Niners, Falcons, Eagles, Texans, that's a tough stretch of five games that could drag you back to 500 as you get to uh, November. I could see then. I kind of feel like, though, that I, I wonder if they learned a lesson from what, how things went with, with Tony Pollard. That are you going to waste opportunities? Remember that we, yeah. we, we with our own eyes we saw Tony Pollard. You know, it, you you could look at the metrics. You yeah. could even the yards, as simple as yards per carry. That that was like, how do you not play Pollard? I just don't think Dowdle has that extra level of juice. It's you know, it's going to be, but better than what they're. Yeah, but it, but I think I think the guy with the juice is Vaughn. Mm-hmm. I think Deuce Vaughn. And I think we're I've 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 really appreciate now Deuce Vaughn a lot more. I think there's a lot less dancing with him. Yeah, more decisive. More de- it's like, hey, this is gonna be a three yard gain, go get it. But if you don't have like great speed or power, going in a straight line isn't how you're gonna produce against NFL first team defenses. You gotta dance. I think he's just gonna run into people quicker. You know, I, I, I don't know. I, I'll well, believe Deuce Vaughn when I see it. Is the biggest problem you have with Deuce Vaughn is just the lack of height? Well, and speed, you know, yeah. like the, maybe he, maybe yeah. I think the initial burst with him and the quickness is good. The long speed. Yeah, it's not there. It's not there. He'll get fetched. You know, he'll get fetched. But maybe you could produce four plus yards per attempt and that should be enough to win this job on a week in week out basis. I'm not I'm not sure which one of these guys is going to be the answer. I just hope one is. I hope they're not all at 3.4 yards in attempt, but they might be. How committed do you think they are going to be to try and run the ball or are they going to put everything on Dak Prescott's lap? Oh, I don't I don't think they're going to be that committed at all. I think you saw last year they realized we're not good at this and you know, we're kind of screwing ourselves by running it so much on first and second down. And the offense got better the you know once they after the week five that yes. after the week five situation I, I, I think Mike knows we got to run the ball and that's why Tyron Smith and Biotish aren't here anymore they're like if we're ever going to run the ball we need a a better offensive line as good as Tyron was in pass pro he couldn't help you there everything I hear and see though is Dax the one with the with all the uh, autonomy at the line of scrimmage sure. he's got as much as anybody in the league mm-hmm. so it, it oftentimes comes down to him and. Changing, changing the play or whatever, and if he's he's always going to be confident in himself dropping back, and if he doesn't yeah. see it quickly with the offensive line and the rushing attack, like heck yeah, he's going to probably be killing it at the line of scrimmage, plenty checking into Dak to CD. Yeah, yeah, and that's you know probably what we need to be doing. <laughs> yeah. That you're going to get that whenever you have a veteran quarterback in his in his prime, you know, yeah. and lack of a running game. It's like, hey, l- let this guy make the adjustments at the line of scrimmage to at least get us in a play that's not dead on arrival. Um, and I I think that's probably a big reason why the offense was so successful last year, points per game wise, even though you had very little running game. Yep.